people who are on your TV in the morning become a part of your life and your family. After 18 years of co-hosting the morning show Good Day LA, Dorothy Lucy became a member of many families throughout the city. I actually watched Dorothy Lucy a good amount when I was little. Uh, I felt that she held herself uh, very well with uh, where she was. While the 4 a.m. wake-up calls were a rough part of the job, it was all worth it for Lucy, knowing that she was a part of history in the making. You really feel, e even a silly morning show where we did a lot of um, you know, entertainment news and, and, and stuff, <laughs> borderline news, you, you still feel like you're writing the first draft of history. And after making history on the show for almost two decades, the goodbye was hard, but at least there was a silver lining. My son was in high school then, and I realized I had never made him breakfast on a weekday. And I'd never driven him to school. Uh, so I made him breakfast every morning, and I drove him to school until he got his license. He was like, see ya. <laughs> uh, so when I look back on it, that was really a gift. Because you know, when he went off to college, if I had not had those mornings, I think I would have felt like I missed something. This freedom also gave Lucy the ability to change up the scenery. From on camera to on campus, Lucy traded the studio for the classroom, sharing what she's learned from 30 years of experience with students eager to take this knowledge out into the real world. Her as a teacher and as a person is an absolute delight. She's so funny and it was like actually exciting to go to class every day. But the students weren't the only ones getting something out of the experience. Just the newness of teaching. Yeah. There's something really fresh about having that conversation with people who are just ready to go save the world. Between balancing life, work, and family, Lucy still found a way to give back however she could. Charity work is something that my mom just instilled in us. She was always volunteering for something, and like we were candy stripers, you know, when we were 15. I, I still have the red and white stripe uniform somewhere. She has been on the board of the charity, Mending Kids, for seven years, having gone on six missions to help save the lives of children worldwide. We saved the lives of about 600 kids last year in 46 countries, including the U.S. As for future endeavors, Lucy is working on a book project that is a mixture of anecdotes and advice. Kinder, gentler celebrity stories with a little bit of um, self-help little tiny spiritual component. And with her love for teaching, she hopes to continue influencing and shaping students' lives. Newswave 32, Camry Bishop.